The brilliant yet chronically overlooked Dr. Edwin Lupin culminates his research into the nature of time itself. Helped by his dedicated assistant Lees and Kelvin, Lupin constructs the world's first functioning time machine, which for complicated science reasons looks exactly like a portable shower. When the Science Journal publishes its list of the year's greatest inventions, the time machine is curiously absent. Oh wait, there it is. Winner of the lamest invention award. Ridiculed for its appearance, the judges have dubbed it the infamous machine. Dr. Lupin, of course, accepts this setback with grace and dignity. For about two seconds, driven to madness, he launches himself into the past, bent on stealing credit for humanity's greatest works. Can the bumbling Kelvin, driven by a basic understanding of right and wrong, repair the unraveling timeline? Or will he totally blow it and doom the universe to oblivion? Well, great. We're 10 seconds in and the game already has an 18 plus rating. Kelvin? Kelvin, can you, can you hear me? Ah! Please? Kelvin, you're alive. Are you all right? Well, the water pressure was a little low for my taste, but... Kelvin, focus. Where are you? What do you see? Uh, looks like downtown somewhere. Uh, France, maybe? Okay, good. The system says you're actually in Austria. Austria? Oi, good day, mate. Austria, Kelvin, not Australia. And it's 1804. So, uh, why did Lupin come here? Likely he was after Beethoven. The dog! A composer, Kelvin. According to history, Ludwig von Beethoven penned just four symphonies before retiring in 1804. It's statistically improbable that a man of his genius would end his career so suddenly. You're saying Lupin messed with Beethoven so he could write the rest of the symphonies himself? Exactly. You need to find Beethoven and get him to write his fifth symphony. Got it. So, uh, what does the symphony sound like? Who knows? It's been erased from history. Uh, Kelvin, the connection's breaking up. Good luck! Don't do anything stupid! Just your everyday reinforced steel comb. It looks really hot. I don't want to burn my hand. Slow night, huh? Right now, all the rich snobs are next door listening to their rich snob music. That's who drinks here? Rich snobs? Everybody in there's either a rich snob or knows a rich snob. Them's the rules. Can I go inside? Hmm, no. Why not? This joint has a strict dress code. It does? But you're wearing a ratty old tank top. Do I look like I'm inside? Touche, bouncer. So I can go in if I find fancier clothes? Hmm, nope. Well, what else is the matter? You don't look old enough to drink. That's just because I moisturize. Likely story. What year were you born? 2000 and, uh, 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 I mean, uh... Nice try, kid. Go play at the carnival or something. Any crazy-eyed scientists come through here lately? You kidding? This is Vienna. Half the people here are crazy-eyed weirdos. How about, like, a really small crazy-eyed weirdo? Sorry, kid. Pretty much everybody looks small to me. Now move along. I know the owner, pal. If you don't let me in right now, I'll get him to fire you. Yeah, what's his name? His name? It's, uh, Glenn. Glenn Hunt. Sorry, buddy. Glenn Hunt sold this joint about a month ago. New ownership. Oh, come on. Do you know if Beethoven is in there? Who? Ludwig van Beethoven, the legendary composer. What's he look like? Crazy hairdo, death glare, kind of hard of hearing. Oh, the deaf guy. Yeah, he's in there. Looked real annoyed about something when he came in. Oh, 
I'll be back. I'll be here. Free parking? Downtown? Learn some supply and demand, people. Yeah, uh, I'm no buggy expert, but whoever owns this one can definitely afford to pay for parking. Reigning state trash ball champion right here. There's no way that's gonna fit on my head. Just your every- Yep, it's uh, an emergency bottle of water. Those candles are really stuck in there. Wow. Good thing this is not an emergency. Well, it's an emergency bottle of water behind the strongest glass in the world. Yeah, that's probably safe. It's a shamelessly anachronistic gumball machine. Put that back! Whoa, a Stradivarius! That's like the Stradivarius of violins! Ah, it's locked up tight. Too bad, I could sell it for a fortune in the future. Is there a concert going on in there? There is. Can I go in? You cannot. Tickets are sold out. How do you know I don't have a ticket? <laughs> Call it a hunch. Ticketed patrons only. Thank you. No, I'd rather not. I think I hear something moving around in there. Uh, you there, little boy. Are you talking to me? Who else, Sonny? Dude, I'm 26. Well, don't you have quite the imagination? Are you serious? I'm... <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the ring toss? Indeed it is. Oh boy! Can I play mister? Please? Oh, of course, Sonny. If you've got a few coins to spare, that is. Oh, man, it's always something. What do I get if I win? Tonight's prize is a ticket to the acclaimed Vienna Symphony. Whoa, fancy. You bet your bottom. What's with the creepy vase over there? Oh, that? It belongs to the snake charmer. Is he on break? I'm afraid he's in the hospital. He had a touch too much of the drink and tried charming the flute by playing the cobra. Whoops. Could I play just once without paying? Where I'm from, they let you play a little for free, and then suddenly you can't stop. I'm afraid not, lad. Portly carnival workers need to eat too. You understand? Bye, Ring Toss Dude! Come back anytime! Cool! Whack-a-mole! Oh, it's busted. You never really stop to think about the moles while you're whacking them. Test your might! You're as weak as an inept research assistant. Guilty as charged. Huh. Looks like I just missed the rainstorm. 
No, I'd rather not. Whoa, are you a fortune teller? You got it. Fortunes, divinations, and prophetic prognostications. Only thing I don't do is palm reading. Oh, refunds. Could you tell my fortune? Huh? Oh, wish I could. But a dark and terrible evil has rendered me powerless. A ghost is draining you of your spiritual aura? Nah, some jerk tourist ran off with my crystal ball. Didn't see that coming, did you? What can I say? Divination is a mysterious and fecal craft. Have you seen visions of what the world will be like in 200 years? Sure have. Crazy place. Mechanical carriages speed around without needing horses to pull them. There's all sorts of delicious sugary foods, but people keep eating kale for some reason. Oh, and everybody has a magic rectangle that they use to send each other pictures of their privates. Wow, you're good. Any idea where I could find Beethoven? Is that a street? I'm gonna take that as a no. Come on, can't you do a really basic fortune without your crystal ball? I don't know. Can you build a really basic castle without any rocks? Point taken. See you later. I know. Uh, will this work for a crystal ball replacement? Hey, thanks. This should work great. Let me repay the favor with a complimentary fortune. Complimentary as in free, right? That's the one. Awesome! Hmm, the shapes are indistinct. Your fate seems yet undecided. Wait, never mind. Somebody's definitely going to shoot you. What? Are you serious? Yep, it's right there in the ball. Whatever happened to divination is a mysterious and fickle craft? This time it was mysteriously clear. Oh, man. Well, thanks, I guess. Tell your friends. No, um, I think he's had enough. I don't think that will work. Tomorrow night only, maestro Matthew S. Francis performs his celebrated yawning concerto. Huh. Wonder why Lupin skipped this guy. No way. This is recyclable. No, I'd rather not. It's a shamelessly anachronistic gumball machine. Wow. Good thing this is... There's already... Am I supposed to be impressed? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I'd get thrown in a dungeon or something. Put that back! Who needs video games? No, I'd rather not. You 
expect me to pay just to park here? Think of it as a status symbol. Parking here says, I have so much money I wasted on parking for no reason. That is brilliant. Hey, Franz, I see you've parked for free, like a peasant. One ring toss, please. Here's your money. Thank you, lad. Here's your ring. Step right up. Hook a target and win! Well, don't just stand there. Ring toss. Sounds fun. More fun than a warehouse full of barley, my boy. Come on up and try your luck. Well, don't just stand there. Oh, so close! What the? There's no way the ring could get around one of those! Care for another go? One ring toss, please! Thank you, lad. Here's your ring. St That won't make it any wider. That won't make it any wider. I need the ring to go around the target, not just stick to it. I'm not sure how those go together. I'm not sure how those... I'm not sure how those... I'm not sure how those go to... Just your everyday reinforced steel... Behold! I have created art! My desire to create art has been trumped by my desire to pick up this comically oversized ring. How the devil did you? You you cheated me! You've been out cheated, you cheaty cheater! Now where's my prize? Fine. Here. Ticketed patrons only. Read it and weep, cucumber face. One symphony ticket. What the? 
Where did you find this? It doesn't matter and you know it. Now let me through. Oh, very well. Try not to ruin the entire performance with your blabbering. No promises. Those are some seriously styling duds. Please present your claim ticket, if you wish to retrieve your garment. I don't think that will... It's a bunch of random papers. I'm not sure if any of them are useful. Just so we're clear, if I need to reach in there to solve a puzzle, I'm giving up. Is this made of green leather? Weird. Anyway, it looks like there's a piece of paper sitting at the top. Am I picking that up? Ah! Cloth snake! Okay, yep, that is rope. It's locked. Is this mop made of human hair? Well, it sure is. Oh, yuck. I shall call him... Lennon's McNo face. <laughs> ah! Okay. I think he's doing all right with the clean sh Who is this guy anyway? Seriously, dude? That's Matthew Churchill! But most people call him the Phoenix of Might! By most people, do you mean just you? Pretty much. The Phoenix shall rise! Shut up! Huh. I never really pictured this as headbanging music. You kidding? This dude is shredding right now! Play the Blood Devils of Torment! Shh! Hey, do you think you could help me convince the bouncer to let me into the bar next door? What? No way! That guy is terrifying! I bet you could take him. You're pretty intimidating yourself. Hardly. I'm scared of almost everything. Bouncers, spiders, you name it. Keep it brutal. Until the bone worm takes us. Excuse me, have any of you seen... Shh. No time for music. I'm a man on a mission. Oh, it's just one guy? I thought there were going to be tubas and stuff. Shh. Somebody with... Am I supposed to? A mustache would definitely make me look older, but it doesn't make me look any fancier. I'm not sure how those go together. Uh, I better not. That guy will throw me out. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not sure how those go together. Why would somebody make a ladder this short? Wait a minute! Gnomes must be real! What are you doing over there? Oh, uh, me? Uh, just admiring some fine musical craftsmanship. I've got my eye on you. This cobra knows good music when he hears it. I am not a smart man. Kelvin, are you there? What's your status? My status? Uh, it's, uh, good. Great. What progress have you made? Well, earlier I won a rigged carnival game, and just now I put a cobra in my backpack. No need to be a smartass, Kelvin. I'm not. I really did those things. Wow, that's... much worse. Kelvin, please stop handling venomous things and start saving the world, okay? I'm on it. Am I supposed to? No, I'd rather. I don't recall you checking any garments. Sounds like somebody's got a fuzzy memory. <laughs> Have a pleasant evening. This is super classy, but I'd still look too young in it. Behold the perfect snooty disguise! Boom! Just call me Lord Kelvin. Uh, wait, I think that's taken. Good evening, smelly door person. I am filthy sausage smoker Abraham van Froman, and I demand admittance into this cosmopolitan beer hall. Good evening, Herr Froman. Please come right in. Wait a minute. Have I seen you here before, Herr Froman? What? No! Nope! I am visiting from Schnitzelberg. My mistake. Enjoy your evening, sir. Kelvin, come in! I... Kelvin, why are you dressed like that fancy peanut? I use the power of disguise to sneak into an upscale bar. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm so glad you've prioritized drinking over the impending doom of the universe. Two birds with one stone, Lees. I have it on semi-decent authority that Beethoven is somewhere in this bar right now. Well, hurry up and get him back on track. The system's detected another temporal disturbance. Lupin's still at it. You can count on Abraham von Froman. Who is that? It's me. I invented a brilliant pseudonym to complete my disguise. Ugh, whatever works, Kelvin. What business do you have with the shuffler? 
Could I borrow your cards? Cards? What is the shuffler without his cards? What is a muskox without his musk? What is the barrel salesman without his mini barrels? All right, all right, I got it. Ooh, can I show you a magic trick? The shuffler does not deign to engage in petty trickery, magical or otherwise. He is the practitioner of an art. You would do well to respect it. The Kelvin will see you later. The shuffler does not appreciate your mockery. What business? Looks like somebody needs a drink refill. The shuffler is awed by your observational prowess. If I bring you a drink, will you let me borrow your cards for a few minutes? The shuffler is not one to make promises, but perhaps. The kill. The shuffler does not. What business do you? The kill. The shuffle. Hello, friend. <gasps> Take a seat and try your luck against the reigning, rain, reigning champion. You want me to arm wrestle that Jack dude? No chance. Oh, contraire, mon ami. No, no, no. Not arm wrestle. Pop shaker. Uh, Brock prip. Uh, bro, bro, uh oh. You mean rock, paper, scissors? Yes, that one. Uh, that is the one right there in the middle. What do I get if I win? You get the most best prize in the world. Beer. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> you lose! What the? Did you just shoot me? Oh, maybe this is what that fortune teller was talking about. Ah! Looks like someone's never played played tournament rules before. Come back when you've studied up, kiddo. Welcome, sir. What can I get you? Beer me, barkeep. I'm sorry, sir. We only have one beer left, and it's reserved for the winner of the Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament. One beer? Yeah, that ornery composer over there has been drinking us dry. I'll take a needlessly elaborate cocktail. Outstanding choice, sir. I'll prepare you my signature drink, the Ardalan Samimi. The September issue of Snobbery describes it as acerbic yet plummy with subtle hints of lavender and beef. You're really gonna like this. Baller! Welcome, sir. Give me the strongest thing you got. The Molaskia, sir? I'm afraid that particular drink requires a prescription. Whoa, how come? The last few patrons to order it experienced some ill effects. What, like a stomachache? They imploded. Cool. I'm good for now. I am at your s Did you have business with the shuffler? What? I just gave you a drink. You said you'd let me borrow your cards. The shuffler recalls no such drink. <clears throat> and no such bargain. You must remember, sir. You. You're a tricky one. Nice. Looks like a party. What's the occasion? Occasion? Bro, please. You don't need an occasion to pound the bruise with your bros, bro. Now come on, bro, join us in a broast. Uh, what? A broast, bro? A bro toast? Sure, let me go grab a mug. Excuse me, sir, are you Ludwig van Beethoven? Uh, sir? Uh, Ludwig? Sir, are you Beethoven? Uh, who are you? What sort of places do you want? And speak up! What are you working on there? 
A world-changing musical masterpiece? <laughs> this, this is no music. It's a poem to help me soothe my pained and fizzled soul. Oh, can I hear what you've got so far? I close my eyes and scream. It does not reach my ear. Music is like a dream, one that I cannot hear. Yikes, maybe stick to instrumentals. Say again? I said that's really deep. How about this? I'll start a melody, and you can just run with it. Ba 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 do 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 do. Ah la 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 ba 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 ba. Stop that! Stop that right now! I am here to help you write your next symphony. Ha! There will be no next symphony. Why not? You're so good! Perhaps you failed to notice, but I can barely hear a sing. I did notice! When did that happen? Hours ago. I was accosted by a wild-eyed shrub of a man from some infernal horn. He flooded my ears with a terrible, screeching tone. Now, the only sound I hear clearly is that of this damned mug striking the table as I drink my misery away. Nah, knowing my luck, I'd hit Beethoven and end the world even faster. How the heck did you get in here? You don't meet the dress code at all. Easy. I've been in here since before they had one. When did they start? I don't know, four years ago? You, sir, are a legend. <laughs> Cheers to that, brother. I better be careful with these. I'm pretty allergic. Not to mention they've been here longer than I have. I'm not sure how those go together. I wouldn't eat those if I were you. I'm pretty sure they're older. <laughs> Oh, older, older than I am. <laughs> you lose. Come on, how am I supposed to beat this guy if I don't even know what these throws mean? That's <laughs> your problem, buddy. <laughs> you come on. That's it. <laughs> I'm not sure how those go together. Welcome, sir. Another Ardalan sub coming right. I'm not sure how those go together. Were you at the concert? The concert. Yes, that is the place where I was. The concert. So, what did you think? The concert induced a range of emotions that is both appropriate and desirable for a concert. Well, good. I think. Good? Yes. I don't think that will work. I don't think that... I don't think that will work. What can you tell me about rock, paper, scissors? This burly guy keeps throwing stuff I've never seen before. Hmm, I'm afraid the crystal balls told us everything it can. 
The spirits might be able to help, though. With the right tool, I can channel their guidance. What kind of tool? Oh, you know, something stereotypically mystical. Maybe tea leaves or tarot cards. Leave it to me. Hey, relax. It's just a game. Don't remind me. Don't leave the law firm, Fritz. There's no future in carnival amusements. Gertrude is going to kill me. That'll teach him to pull a fast... I probably shouldn't. I'm very... Rock in the pockets. Sweet. Yes, it is chilly. Oh, <laughs> I thought maybe you were hiding scary crab hands or something. That would be unhuman. Unlike me, an adult male human. Uh, yeah, right. I don't think that will work. I don't think... Whoa. Whoa? Whoa what? According to this guidebook, there's an enormous devil chipmunk painted on the ceiling of the lobby. I don't see anything. Made you look. Oh, real mature. Ooh, are those donut holes? Mud balls. Want one? Ooh, what's in a mud ball? Mud. I'll pass. Those are some serious. No, I'd. Excuse me, Mr. Cruzlink. Dr. Cruzlink. Uh, can I help you? My legs feel all mushy. I need a prescription for Melaskia before it's too late. Hmm, likely a mild case of syphilis. Indeed. Indeed. I recommend six iodine tablets and a week's bed rest. Dang it. Oh, I fell off a horse and my lung popped. Surely Melaskia is the only cure. Hmm, a popped lung usually unpops itself within a day or two. Indeed. Indeed. Weak tea and a four-hour headstand should accelerate the healing process. Oh, come on. Oh, I just pooped out my brain. I need Melaskia now! Hardly. A good bloodletting should get your humors back in alignment. Indeed. Indeed. Come by my office tomorrow. I'll prepare the leeches. Amazing! I'm suddenly cured. What did you two think of the show? Oh, it was simply exhilarating. I feel so... Alive! <laughs> Don't you, Mortimer? Yes, Angelica! So alive! I feel as if... as if I could sing! Like the stars in the sky. And the stars in your eyes. You're, You're the, the light, light of my life! Uh, bravo. I guess. It's a bunch of random papers. No, thank you. The animators didn't bother to put a mouth under this mustache. I'm not sure how those go. No, thank you. The animators didn't. Hey, Doc. You think I could have out the last year prescription now? Good heavens! An acute facial dysmography! Oh, this affliction is far beyond my ability to treat. Here, enjoy one last beverage before your head blows up. My condolences. Thanks! Huh? 
Ha! I haven't pulled that trick since my organic chemistry final. One Melaskia, please. Oh, uh, here's my prescription. Very good, sir. Before I make this, however, I am required to inform you of the following disclaimers. Melaskia is not recommended for consumption by the ill or infirm. Do not drink Melaskia with other forms of alcohol. Do not drink Melaskia before or after operating a threshing machine. Do not drink Melaskia in the vicinity of a fountain or decorative clock. Do not drink Melaskia in Spain. Do not drink Melaskia during an existential crisis. Do not spell Melaskia. Do not drink Melaskia upside down. Do not think that drinking Melaskia somehow makes you better than Melaskia. If Melaskia asks you a question, do not answer. And finally, do not, 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 not drink Melaskia. Do you acknowledge and accept these disclaimers, sir? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Gimme. Yeah, I need to empty the cocktail glass first. Yeah, I'm on the clock. The shuffler wants nothing to do with that caustic swill. Bro, you can't toast with that. It might break. Glass everywhere, bro. Total party foul, bro. No, I'd rather. I don't think that. Here you are, Mr. Shuffler. It's the bartender's latest creation, the, uh, Alice. Subversively sweet, with notes of dolphin and basement mold. The Shuffler accepts your gift with skepticism and curiosity. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Will this deck of cards work? Yes, these should do the trick. Let's see. The answer to your quandary is lost forever at the bottom of the Dead Sea. What? I can't even swim! Wait, oh, sorry, sorry. Cards were upside down. The answer to your quandary is at the bottom left corner of a parchment wall. Oh, cryptic. You know it. Were you at the concert? The, so... The concert! Well, good. I'm not sure how... Tomorrow night only. Maestro... Huh. Wonder why Lupin skipped this guy. Wow, they really captured his creepy over-caffeinated essence.
It's titled Lord Sebastian Teicher in a Staring Contest with a Mirror. <laughs> Boom! Take that, silent scowling guy! You just got wrecked! <laughs> oh god, uh, I mean, uh, thank you for the friendly and competitive match! Please don't rip off my arms. One victory beer, please! Uh, hey, there's a giant hole in my mug? Yes, sir, I added that to let the beer breathe properly. It should improve mouthfeel. Well, okay, uh, except the beer just spilled all over the counter. Oh, right. Liquids. Sorry, sir. I'd pour you a replacement, but we're all out. Welcome, sir. What can I get you? This cocktail's great, though it's a little light on the beef. I appreciate the feedback, sir. A mixologist seeks always to better his craft. I'll take one more Malaskia. No can do, sir. By law, I can't serve you another for at least six years. You sure you don't have another beer back there? Quite sure, sir. Might I interest you in a diet, Dr. Lupin? I have about 12 flavors back here. Please, God, no! Why would anybody want credit for that? I'm good for- I am at your service, sir. All right, bros, let's do this. Heck yeah, bro. Instability just fell by 30%? No! Kelvin, that 
That's a good thing. Oh. Yay! I kind of can't believe it, but whatever you're doing is actually working. So you're saying I can come home now and binge watch Star Snails? Y what? No. We need to get you to the next temporal anomaly immediately. But Star Snails... <sighs> Kelvin, you can't watch Star Snails if Lupin implodes the universe. Yeah, fine. Beam in the shower or whatever. Beaming in now. See you on the other side, Kelvin. Ugh, drain hair.